So when you first come into this villa, it's easy to see immediately why this is one of the most exclusive villas ever built in Bali. So this is a property that's absolutely in its own class beyond any other luxury villa that you'll see. Everything's handcrafted. It's been years in the development of this property. There are so many special things to talk about. It is for the distinguished discriminating buyer who is looking for that iconic piece, really a masterpiece. Everything is handcrafted. Everything is perfect here. So just for example, these large gray stone slabs around here in the parking area that you see throughout the villa are handcrafted to be textured the way that they are. We're talking tens of thousands of square feet in the facade. Now this villa is right in the heart of Pereranan, which is just a stone's throw away from Changu, a couple minutes drive to the beach. It is one of the most premium areas possible, especially with up and coming developments in demand. This villa is six bedrooms, just under 1600 square meters. It sits on 20 ara of land that is freehold land and has a protected rice paddy view. And the price is by request only. So, you know, we haven't even walked through the door yet, but there's so much to talk about, and I really want to highlight the amazing features of this villa, starting with this reflection pool that also has lights built into it. And the thing is, with the ripples on the water and the natural stone that's been used, it reflects shadows on the wall at certain times of the day and at night. Now, we also have an oversized garage with an oversized door. I feel like everything here almost reminds me of uh, the Dune movie, where everything is just big and bold. So it's a proper showcase uh, for any exotic vehicles you may have. Uh, some of the special features that we'll see today, there's a bonfire area, there's a game room, a uh, huge pool. Um, but before we dive into the living area, let's see one of the best features, which is a very large home theater off in the southern wing. So we basically have our own movie theater here with guest bathroom. And immediately we start to hear the sound dampening, getting quiet, and it opens up into a very large home theater that is perfectly completed. The lighting's perfect. The sound engineering's perfect. You can fit, oh, that's so comfy. You can fit 30 people in here. The entrance is so grand to this villa that we don't just go into the living area. We have a corridor that we walk through. We have this dramatic sense of walking through here with the texture of the slats, the industrial element of having the, the beams here. Now in Indonesian design, they really focus on five elements. So that's earth, wind, fire, water, but then space is that fifth element. And the thing is, because we've got the bonfire here, we've got the water surrounding us, we've got the pool, we've got the reflection pool, and by being able to open up the doors, we've got the wind coming through. Yeah, the sense of space is just astonishing here. So we're heading down into the main living area, guest kitchen, pool and deck. So for me, the first time that I got to walk through this villa, this was the moment that I have burned in my brain because you come through the corridor and you're not really sure what you're about to get into here. And we open up to this huge living area space that is just uh, it's so modern, contemporary and minimalistic, but I feel like it's uh, like we're almost in a uh, really high-end venue. So obviously it's a huge space. A couple of things about the layout. Now we do have kind of a bar service area, but it's more of a guest service area, but we actually have a proper kitchen that's offset in the back there for the staff. We've got separate buildings surrounding a courtyard area here, centralized. Everything still all interacts with itself because we've got windows and doors that all slide out. Everything opens up so we can still connect with the other areas of the villa, but we're just surrounded by garden and nature and pool and water and stone. And then of course we have an entire wall of marble 
behind the service area that I believe is the Lamborghini gray marble. That's been imported. And of course, we have the giant sliding doors on both sides of the living and dining area where seamlessly opens and closes, but the breeze right now is phenomenal. So of course we have a really large pool deck with the day beds and the pool's around 25 meters long. It's an infinity pool, swim to the end, put your arms up there, look at the rice paddy view. I also like that it's got what we call kind of the beach design where it's shallow, kind of eases in. Oh, I stepped in it. God damn it. <laughs> now we also have the bonfire pit and when you have this next to this pool and then also with this view that is a green zone rice paddy view meaning it's protected so this will not be built on what more do you want There's something else that you may not have noticed right away, but it's been incorporated into the garden is this huge stone slab. There's a few of these around. There's one here, there's one behind the outdoor shower next to the pool. They've also been used in the bar and game room, and these were incredibly hard to source. Uh, they're basically like stone sculptures. Just to highlight that no matter where you go, no matter what room you're in, there's something there that's very special and has a history and story behind it. best room we've got the, the, the bar lounge man cave here yeah so we've got the pool table flat screen lounging couches full bar uh, I also really love again we see one of these big slabs that's been uh, used as a sculpture here but also as the platform for the couch <laughs> so we just uh, you know it's it, it's such a timeless thing when you're using natural materials and really interesting elements like this so this, we've got special stone here. This is called Alexandria Gray. One slab, very expensive. Uh, also behind here, we've got uh, full onyx, uh, white onyx background to this bar because it looks like ice, right? So uh, really creative implementation of that. And you know, even when shooting this, talking about this just now, like I truly had a little bit of a uh, uh, hit my brain where I'm like, appreciate where I am even shooting this video. I mean, sometimes we can get accustomed to our surroundings here, but you know, getting to see this view from this type of property, looks out to the rice paddy, you know, we're somewhere else out here. So let's head upstairs. And as I mentioned before, at nighttime, this villa completely transforms. We can kind of see a little bit of foreshadowing to the lighting <laughs> that you'll experience at night because we have this amazing dramatic uh, lighting setup here with the stairs. And we've got some light peeking in from between the other stairs above us and these slats. Just everything is uh, just constantly looking around in this villa. And also in this hallway here, we actually have a lot of storage. These are all cabinets. I like the design because it kind of matches up with this gray mirrors and mimics the big gray slabs that we keep seeing throughout. So if we go this way, we'll see the bedrooms. I think we're gonna do rooms for last because I'm really eager to show you the rooftop catwalk uh, right up this way. So this is certainly another one of those aha moments when you walk up and see this catwalk with the lighting and the rice patties surrounding you everywhere. Uh, but then this view down to the courtyard and the reflection pool. And you know, I'm dead serious that I just stop all the time walking through this villa and just look at it from different angles because the whole thing is, it's just a huge sculpture at the end of the day. It's really incredible. And uh, everything's just so bold. So now you've got a good sense of the incredible space that's surrounding here, living area, kitchen, courtyard, taking it all in. But let's come into the master bedroom here and then we'll check out the other bedrooms because uh, the living quarters are really cozy, uh, still very spacious. We'll get to that door in a second because there's something extra special behind there. But come on in and, oh God, I love this. We've got the doors open. We've got this breeze flowing through. We've got our private rice paddy view. 
got the garden outside. It's just a wall of windows. Now uh, we also have a private balcony out here, but like just listen, it's just breeze and peace. <laughs> here it is, it is so good. Now, if there's something that's uh, as enjoyable as peace and tranquility, privacy and luxury, it's hidden doors, which is right here. And behind this hidden door is one of the most insane bathrooms I've ever seen. So when I say that the developer has been a collector of stone and marble, I'm not kidding. And this entire bathroom is covered in onyx diamond stone. And I'll tell you what, I mean, the whole thing it is wild. and. Uh, the light kind of died down a little bit, but in the sunlight, you can see all these little reflections. I mean, it really does. It looks like the walls are made out of diamonds here. It is just, it's incredible. This is into our own private wardrobe that basically is like a designer retailer showroom. And I believe this is the Onyx Marble Mosaic Illuminated Centerpiece, right? You know, certainly another unique showpiece in this villa that's amongst many others. Come up to the stairs and we've got this lounge area, TV, uh, for the guests. Anybody staying here, we've got four different bedrooms, all with pretty similar layouts. Now these bedrooms are all extremely spacious, extremely just high-end everything. We also have more stone usage in the bathroom. Um, but of course, we've got this. We've got open wall of glass, open wall of glass, uh, as well as an outdoor balcony here that wraps around so you can continue to walk down and connect with all the bedrooms. But we can even open up our slats here. Yeah, but check out this bathroom. Oh man. Again, we've got the big sliding door, so we've got the breeze coming in, open living, uh, big Bali bathtub, and then, of course, the stone usage here. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. You know, a property like this represents ultimate achievement from both the builder as well as a buyer. So if you're one of those few out there uh, who's really looking for the most iconic property possible in Bali, it's gonna be a long time till we see another like this one. We're gonna have a link below where you can contact us for some more information. We'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And for future videos, make sure and like and subscribe. I'll see you again.